Touch a bit about using an EC meter, which is an electric conductivity meter, um, as well as a pH gauge, so you can uh, gauge your pH, um, you know, of your water prior to going in. And of course, it's good to keep it in the range of between six and six point two. Personally, that's what works for me. Uh, when you're dealing with soil hydro, of course, they, they vary. They can go down to five eight to five nine. Um, and because these are young. Um, usually my EC would be up around four or five hundred, but my EC is probably going to be around two hundred with these ones, and uh, of course with any, any any other mix that I make. And as we go through some of the products, one of the first ones that are already pre-mixed in here, I will be mixing another one to show you the ratios are the same. But it's tarantula mix, so uh, of course we add that, which is your microorganisms that you need early on. Really helps to protect your rooting system and promotes vigorous growth. And of course, Advanced Nutrients sells that, and you can order that online. Um, as well, you got Voodoo Juice, okay? Very popular, again, for stimulating the rooting system. Um, they actually show a little picture of the differential between a good rooting system that has been enhanced and, you know, a ragged one. But uh, all said, that's, that's Voodoo Juice, and then of course, to enhance the Voodoo Juice, you use CarboLoad. Okay, and again, this just gives your essentials that, that you know your your plant new needs. Um, a lot of the different pro a lot of the stuff that's in this, I can't even uh, read the names of. So uh, it's basically just a, a simple carbo load, but it does enhance the booty juice when you use them together. And then of course you have your base. Now every every single um uh uh sorry vegetative uh, blue or vegetative uh, grow solution uh, actually has a, uh, a high ratio of uh, nitrogen and then of course you got um, phosphorus and potassium so you can see you got low phosphorus where you got high phosphorus with the bloom solution which we'll show um, you know when we get to that time but uh, you got also a higher a three on the nitrogen and then a three on the um, on the potassium so uh, that's your base that's your fundamental base you could just grow with this alone if you wanted to so um, when those are all combined, you end up with what we got here, and uh, I'm just going to set my co-host down here for a second, uh, one out, and give you an EC reading, which is, I believe is at around 200, 300 uh, ppm. I said I like to run around 400 anyway. This one, for instance, is 200. Let's give or take a little bit. I was a little sloppy with my measuring. You know, this one here is running up three, 400, so about 350 that one's running. Um, again, anywhere around four, um, I'm happy. Some people run right up to eight. Um, with the plants were bigger because they're so small, they're being taken with caution and not hitting them with too many nutrients early on. There's no sense. There's not enough rooting system to support it. And there's all this soil not to waste your nutrients on. So it's kind of important to, uh, to take these things into account. And then, of course, you got your pH pen. So your electrical conductivity meter okay which can run you about a hundred bucks for a new one um, that's what you're going to use to check your uh, dissolved solids and, and uh, what your EC is going in and uh, of course here you can also use this to check your base when you're when you're when doing your watering to see just if there's a backup or if you have a, uh, a nutrient lockout situation this is the best uh, toy you can have because you can actually tell if you have that situation going on and know when to flush uh, with the pH gauge of course you want to make sure your, your gauges are kept um, again within the ranges that I mentioned now when I tried to calibrate this I had to actually calibrate it at 6.7 so it's reading at 5.8 which would really be 6 and like I said I like to run at about 6 to 6.2 um, lower when I'm in veg higher when I'm in uh, when I'm in flower and as you can see I'm sweating like crazy here um, trying to get as much information out fast because I know you guys don't want to list, like listening to a lot of rambling okay so we so, got uh, the uh, the aguano and the uh, that's been added. Then go to carbo or sorry, voodoo juice, which is going to run up around the same. It's very expensive to use these products, so and there's other ways, of course, to pour it. I'm trying to do this in a fast manner to get a, get my point across here with it. 
Sometimes fast isn't always best. Um, of course, because you make a mess like I'm doing now. But um, the final one, okay, is your carbo load, which of course enhances the voodoo juice. Same concept. Only the funny thing is with carbo load is you use a little less. And then we got to add the tarantula mix, which is the last of the ingredients, which kind of makes it turn into this brown color. And it's just two little scoops, a quarter teaspoon each. Um, the, the, it actually calls to use uh, twice that amount. Um, I never use what the container calls for. I've found that I've um, harmed products more, or I've harmed my plants more than I've uh, bettered them with uh, different nutrients when I actually use what they ask me to use. So I tend to cut it in half. And uh, that's just me personally. Again, there's no right or wrong answer with nutrients or how to use any of the equipment being used here. This is just what works for me. Just to save any comments or questions that are about what could or would have should have been done. Um, the next part, okay, of course, is we're just going to shake it up. Now, this is standard. You can use your 4 liter. It's imperative to make sure you shake your nutrients up before you water. One, you create oxygen in the water. You can see it bubbling up here. That oxygen is great for the rooting system. The most important thing is you've got even distribution. Uh, in the next segment, we're going to get into the actual transplant and the importance of even water distribution, which I believe is often underlooked. We'll see you then. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, first kill this cat. Let me listen to that. I'm going to move some of the nutrients away. Now, transplanting, relatively simple. We got our soil here. Now it has a little bit of moisture already in there, that's why I'm not pre-soaking it. I'm not too concerned. But as I pop this out, I'm going to ask my camera person to kind of zoom in on the rooting system. And see that it's not quite fully there, there's no need to actually transplant at this point. But for me to be able to leave it just for the summer and to be able to have lots of watering time, um, what I mean by that is basically I, I get about a week between waterings, so it's uh, or feedings makes it a lot more ideal situation to work in. And of course for a simple transplant, that would be it. Now what matters in a transplant is that what a lot of people do, and I've had, I've had growers say this, why is it that my, my uh, half my leaf's dying or whatever on this one side? And often that's because there's a dry pocket down here because there wasn't even water distribution, which means that the water wasn't just completely saturated right all, all the way through and uh, and that's actually an important uh, part especially during transplant and using the products that have B1 or thiamine in them which is uh, which is what Voodoo Juice and various other products that we uh, we put in these premixes uh, to go with the transplant so then if you don't have a tap nearby upper upper gallon pail like this works great remember to shake your mix up even though it's already been mixed Oxidizes it and water straight through. Remember that the water can, uh, well, it's food, so the organics can actually burn your leaves, so you don't want to get any of the stuff on your leaves. And the way to tell for even water distribution, I guys basically put four liters in because it's a three gallon container. And I hold it up and I just kind of wait and I wait to see if I get some. Uh